Okay, quick video on the what I'm doing today. I'm using this stuff here. I don't know if you can see that. It's called Kemi Clean to get rid of <laughs> this stuff. Oh my God, it looks worse on camera. Let's see it's sticking to the algae. Just dose today. Uh, what is today? What's today, honey? The 18th? 19th. 19th. September 19th. Oops, blurry. Why is it? There we go. Hopefully, it looks a little different here in a couple days. I took the uh, skimmer lid off and just kind of letting it foam up down there in the sump. You gotta add a lot of oxygen back because ChemiClean takes oxygen away. It basically sucks it out of there. So, let's see how it looks here in a couple days. Okay, next day from doing the ChemiClean. Here is what she looks like. Holy smokes. Still pretty good amount of uh, red slime algae or cyanobacteria. You can see here where it's starting to lighten up in color. And you can see my uh, carpet nim. I'm gonna be pulling him out today and try putting him over here in the little tank. Uh, I don't think the corals look any different. This one's not as fluffy yet, but the uh, it's only reef brights that are on right now, just the two reef brights. But you can see it's notably orange. I'd imagine when the lights come on, you'll see that it's more red, really. You can see there where the cyano is starting to basically die off due to oxygen starvation, starving it out. You see my lawnmower blenny there. Just kind of chilling, wondering what the hell's going on. Yep, it's starting to release. It's, it does work. You can see the back glass there. It's starting to die off there. There's a big round circle there. This little one here is starting to release on the back glass. It was all over the algae too. Uh, be interesting to see how that is. I won't be able to tell until I get the light on. You can see there it's starting to release. That big patch is coming up. I mean, it was already coming up, but even more so now. And uh, you can definitely see, hopefully the camera's picking it up well. It is just a orange hue due to the reef brights and uh, the red tint in the water. Here's what the sump looks like currently. Lid off to get as much oxygen exchange as possible. Um, this is fairly clear, I'm not getting any bubbles in there. And uh, that's really uh, kind of like a refugium section there. And it's, you know, fairly clear to the eye right now. With a light on it, probably a different story. Uh, I'm gonna turn this back on. Trying to get that uh, tapered in right. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Making up water now for a big water change tomorrow night. And I'll also be using uh, my uh, python to clean out as much as I can on the sand. And I'll probably have to do another treatment next weekend. As much as I don't want to, I'll probably have to. All right, I'll wait for the lights to come on. Show you a little bit better. Okay, it's about 29 to 30 hours in by using uh, ChemiClean. And here's where the cyano stands. I'll try to zoom up on here as much as I can. You can see how it's kind of bleaching out. It's just slowly dying away. doesn't seem to affect the fish any the um, anemones back there are fine there's two uh, orange rainbow bubble tips back there 
Stylo looks okay. Hair algae still all over the place. I'm still dosing to get rid of that too. Uh, my fungia looks okay. You can see here the this was a real thick patch here. It's bleaching out real nice. So basically it's gonna run, uh, today's Sunday, it'll run through to Monday and I may just like do uh, water changes either tomorrow night or the day after. Uh, here's where I put the carpet anemone. You can see him here. He looks like that because he's just not happy. Uh, he had that coral in him and he was just all kind of not happy. He was much bigger and inflated, but I didn't want him in this tank anymore, so he got moved. But you can kind of see how the whole tank has like a reddish hue to it, like Mars. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of show you how it looks tomorrow. Okay, they almost exactly 48 hours later. It's actually been about uh, 48 hours and 30 minutes. And here's what's left of the cyano. I have not done a water change. You can see some algae was left behind. And uh, yeah, I am dosing for the algae, as I've said before. I've just got to basically filter the sand bed now. Um, Looks like the majority of the cyano is released from the hair algae. Um, plenty of bubbles to uh, make up for the starvation of the oxygen. Uh, you can see that uh, the anemones look fine. The corals are okay. Um, fish are fine. And I'll come over here and you can see better and better light now same algae problem here <laughs> but uh, the uh, carpet anemone has started to kind of spread his wings a little he's doing a little better his mouth is open he's a little a little upset you can see here his foot hasn't planted he just has that little grip there has some sand and uh, um, what is that sand and part of the glass sorry <laughs> I was just noticing my my goofy uh, water is low, so I'm just need to top that off. But yeah, anyway, that's that's what I got here. You can kind of here's a little up close. I'll try to zoom in and see what's left there. Just kind of uh, you know, just nothing but die off really. Uh, I'm actually contemplating letting this sit another day to see if some of the leftover, you can see the red cyano still in there. I'm considering letting it go another day. Uh, I don't think it'll hurt anything, to be honest. But uh, the water, all the cyano in the system, the all the orange that was flying around has gone somewhere. I have no idea where, but... The tank is much clearer than it was yesterday. It's really cool. I mean, the, the Kimmy Clean, I'll have to say, that's a, that's a hell of a product. I highly recommend it. Um, my clam, uh, he's looking really good. Nothing, nothing bad there. The fish are really happy. I'll probably throw in some, a heavy feed tonight get my skimmer back online and do just a massive water change tomorrow. Here's the foam down at the bottom. You can see there's some uh, nastiness in here. Basically my whole sump has turned into a protein skimmer. Uh, even over here, it's cloudy. Um, man, I just, you know, I might just turn on the skimmer and see how it does uh, to clean it up. And, you know, I got uh, some snails that have burrowed see him there but really no ill effect a uh, little loss of color on the purple stylo uh, my purple acro or whatever that is over there he's okay <laughs> I don't know maybe the algae consumed what was floating around I don't really know what to say
All right, well, um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I'm gonna zoom out real far here. Sand bed is white again with uh, just algae issues like normal. I really, I, I can't recommend Kimmy clean enough. That's awesome. All right, well, that beep's annoying me, so let me go handle that, and uh, I'll show you the final result when I'm done. Okay, so it's been probably, uh, wow, over three days, and I've kept this stuff in there. You see my sand bed has only remnants of algae, uh, which really is no knock on the ChemiClean. The ChemiClean did its job. There is some leftover, um, you can't really see it in it very well with this. I have no filter on, on my phone, but you can't really see it, but there's some red on the, a little bit of red on the algae, on the hair algae. Uh, it's embarrassing, but you know, I just want to log it so I have record of it. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole sand bed it looks cyano free. There's nothing there, so I'm going to take my uh, python and clean it all out. Okay, this will be the finale. Um, water change is done. Stirred up the sand bed, cleaned it up as much as I could. Still have algae issues, but you know, on the whole, everything looks phenomenal. Super clear. Um, again, just algae problems, but uh, no big deal. I got a hermit crab up there. Killed one of my, he killed one of my snails for that show. Good for you, buddy. I do also have this here. It's my, uh, it's a new reactor for the Purit. And I also started running my calc again. You can see here, I'll show you. It's only noisy because I need to fix the little pill in there that stirs it. But I just stir it up every now and then, manually. Probably should get that set up on the controller. And that's that. Um, it is super clear though. The fish are much happier. And uh, yeah. Definitely, uh, ChemiClean works.